Hello, my name is Maria Jose Stables. I'm a researcher at the communication department of Pompeu Fabra University. I am here to introduce to you the article titled Gamers, Writers and Social Media Influencers, Professionalization Processes Among Teenagers, which appears in the Latina Journal of Social Communication number 74. This article has been written by myself and two other researchers, Mar Guerrero Pico, also from the University Pompeu Fabra, and Ruth Contreras Espinosa from the University of Vic, Central University of Catalonia. Access to new platforms and media in the digital environment is acting as a channel that enables quick and easy communication among young people. Every day, teenagers discover new applications and networks that change their consumption and production habits. However, while this digital environment is in principle free to access, we cannot ignore that access to content comes from some conditions considerations, such as the collection of users' personal and location data. Sometimes, both young and older people are not, able, not, not aware that using digital services come with a price. This is why it is important to continue researching and reflecting on what transmedia literacy is in order to know what teenagers are doing, are doing with the media and how they, are, they can learn to manage them. In this context, there are two areas that can in principle be opposed, the participatory cultures and the cultural industries. The former involves such practices a remix, collective intelligence and, and a culture of collaboration between prosumers and fans, while the latter is characterized by the homogenizations of production processes, profits and corporate concentration. Between these two areas, there is a gray area where some people, many of them fans or certain cultural products, transition from the amateur field of the participatory cultures to the professional field on the cultural industries, which characterizes the phenomenon of, of cultural convergence. It is in this area where some young people with outstanding skills in the digital field are trying to open a gap in the cultural industries, specifically in video games, publishing, and product and service review. Although having very specific competencies to excel in these areas is fundamental for teenagers to be able to work at a professional level, we cannot forget that these new environments are still developing in many aspects at the legislative and labor levels. And this is where many young people are sometimes immersed doing an activity that they love but it's far from being their dream job, transitioning from an amateur to a professional with a stable income. This article is motivated by the reflections on these new media ecosystems and the role that teenagers are playing in it, and as well as, the, as by the challenges and problems that arise in the relationships between prosumers and the new cultural industries. The study has been carried out using a mixed qualitative and quantitative methods approach. Ethnographic, statistical and textual techniques have been used to collect and analyze data from a sample of 237 teens from five of Spanish autonomous communities. Three areas of professionalization have been detected, video games, creative writing and social networks. It's with its own dynamics with respect to teenagers' the gender and the sources of um, platforms used. Teenagers who undertake professionalization processes constitute a minority, and with this group, it is essential to strengthen the skills that allow them to understand to what extent media companies profit from their work. The full article is available in the website of Latina Journal of Social Communication. You can send us an email to the addresses that appear on the cover of the article should you need any further information about our research work. Thanks a lot for your attention.